So how are you doing, Nick? We're doing well. Um, yeah, it's been a busy year. I can't believe it's April already. It's like a third of the way through the year, but really? like, <laughs> like I think it's I think it's good. Um, you know, there's things that could be better, but yeah, you know, I'm sitting here and everything seems to be okay. Hmm. How's studies going? I think that's what yeah I guess most of my stress comes from. Um, you know, I'm used to studying, like I've studied a lot, you know, studied multiple mm. years. Um, I'm used to working, I've worked for a number of years, but doing them together is a, it's a challenge. Um, yeah, and I think it's, well, it's a challenge, I'm good and I'm enjoying it, but yeah, it's stressful. Mm. It, it hurts. <laughs> uh, and uh, yeah, I mean, every break I get is, yeah, a it's chance for me to rest. Oh, <laughs> study break, yeah, right. Oh. Yeah, I think I've been finding the same thing. Um, I mean, trying to write a proposal while trying to do work, while mm. trying to mm. do all sorts of other stuff. Mm. And do you have a deadline? Or I mean, I didn't you have a deadline? Yeah, my one deadline was last week. Um, got another deadline coming up. Well, depending on when I get comments back. Mm. I guess my supervisor sent me an email reply at like 10 o'clock last night. <laughs> on Sunday? So, so he was working at 10 o'clock on a Sunday. <laughs> Is that uh, reflective of what we should be doing? I hope not. <laughs> <laughs> and was the feedback good? It was just a uh, cool thanks for sending through. I'll get feedback to you as soon as I can. Oh, great. Yeah. Very helpful. So depending on that feedback, it might be that so all of a sudden I've got a truckload of work to do. <laughs> <laughs> on top of your normal day-to-day -day work. Yeah. Yeah. You know, I think that's what I'm finding is that yeah, it's, it's, there's certain times of the year, like, I mean, you know this when you study and you have assignments and proposal dates due, um, but those seem to coincide with our students' work, so it's like, I've got assignments due, my science, my science, my, uh, my students have assignments due, and uh, yeah, that just creates chaos. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. Yeah, so Nick, how, how are your studies going? They're going well. Um, yeah, like, it's tough. You know, I'm used to I'm used to studying. You know, I've studied for multiple years. Um, I'm used to working. I've got into the rhythm of working. But I think when you combine studying full time and working full time, you run into issues there. Um, it's a it's a lot of work. It's it's good. It's fulfilling. But you know, if I don't manage my time properly, I can see myself you know getting burnt out by the end of the year. Mm. And I'm trying to avoid that. Um, and hopefully, it's going well. Uh, and, you know, I guess we'll see in a few months' time. Okay. Are you enjoying your studies? Yeah. Yeah. I think it's fulfilling to be able to study further. Um, it's something I've always wanted to do. Uh, and I think, you know, the, the job that I work in, that we work in, it's good to constantly uh, further our academics, to feel like we're doing better and giving our students more. Do you feel like your students are doing good stuff? Yeah, I think they're, 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 they're doing well. Um, I think they're a better year this year than they were last year, I guess. You know, there seems to be improvement there. Um, hopefully that's a sign of my work as a lecturer improving. Um, but yeah, I'm pretty impressed with their work. Uh, and uh, hopefully it continues. How many students do you have? I think there's about 45 five or 47, I think, in, in, in my class. Um, so there's quite a few, but they're a solid bunch. I mean, they, they seem to be committed and they seem to be working properly, um, quite committed to their work. And with your studies, like how many courses are you doing? I'm doing five modules across the year. Uh, so yeah, five modules and then my dissertation. Okay, and how long is that dissertation? Dissertation will be 80 pages, or uh, I can't remember the exact amount of words, but it's whatever comes first, the word limit or 80 pages. Cool. Shorter than my dissertation had to be. <sighs> it's annoying. I everyone's doing shorter dissertations than I had to do. Uh, how long was yours? Mine was 160 pages. Jeez. Yeah, and yeah. then there was coursework before that. Sure. And then I had to defend my dissertation. Oh, sounds like a lot of work. Mm -hmm. It was a lot of work. You probably have a lot of work too. So, how are your studies going? Oh, I think they're going well, you know. Um, it's April already, it's what I can't believe, so... It's end of, almost end of the first semester. Um, mm -hmm. 
you know, I've got like eight months left. It's crazy. I'm almost finished a master's degree. Um, but it, it's good. Like it's stressful. Uh, I'm used to. I'm used to studying. I enjoy studying. Um, I'm used to working full time, but I'm not used to doing both of them at the same time. You know. So working full time and studying full time, it presents a, a set of challenges. And navigating that is the is the challenge that I'm facing at the moment. Okay. Can you tell me a little bit more about your challenges? Then? So, I mean, you know, on a normal day, obviously people work, you know, eight, nine hour day. Um, and that in itself is pretty tiring um, outside of any external commitments so marking or social life. Uh, and then I find when I have my classes, which are evening classes. So I go straight from work on a Wednesday and a Thursday to UCT and I go straight into class for two hours. Um, and it doesn't sound like a lot, like an extra two hours, but it, it, it feels like an extra five. Um, by six o'clock in my class, I'm sitting there and my whole body is just saying, what are you doing? Go to sleep. Uh, and I'm trying to pay attention and listen and be engaged in the lecture. Um, so I think that's, that's pretty tough, like just having the energy to get through it. And then what I found is that I have, you know, that we have assignments that you need to do and deadlines. And they seem to coincide quite a, a lot with my students' deadlines, which makes sense. So when my students will have an assignment due, I will have one uh, and I'll have to mark theirs and do mine. Um, so it's just time management, I guess. You know? okay. um, from a previous conversation, it sounded like you, you thought it was almost bizarre mm. how the things seem to match up. Yeah. Can you tell me about that? Yeah, because I mean, I, that's the one thing I didn't expect really. Um, you see, I expected there to be pressure times and deadlines, but I expected it mainly from my, my own studies. Uh, and then seeing it come from my work as well, uh, I didn't expect that. Mm. So that came out of like left field kind of thing. And um, while I was prepared to work hard in time managing my assignments, it, I was not prepared to you know, put the same amount of effort into making sure that my work stays on top of the game. Um, so I think, yeah, that's one of the biggest challenges that I'm facing at the moment. Okay. Do you feel like you're getting enjoyment and meaning and mm. stuff from the work you're doing? I think that's when people ask me, like they hear my schedule and they say, well, you must be struggling or um, it must be overwhelming for you. I say I might be stressed and I might have a lot of work, but I'm good. Uh, and I think that's the thing that's really impressive, I guess, to me. Like it's something I didn't expect. Like I'm not falling apart. Um, mm -hmm. So I'm getting a lot of enjoyment from the studies that I'm, I'm doing and growing as an academic. And at the same time, I'm getting a lot of enjoyment for feeling myself grow in the work that I'm doing. So lecturing, uh, I see improvements there, interacting with students. So it's hard work, but it's fulfilling. So it sounds like it's draining, but life giving at the same time. Yeah, and I think it's the first time, you know, that I've experienced that in this kind of context. Um, you know, often a full-time job can be draining and you kind of lose your, your passion for what you're doing. Mm -hmm. But knowing that I'm growing and knowing that that's going to help my students grow, I think they, it gives me a sense of, yeah, I'm doing something good. Okay. Yeah. Can you tell me about, is there anything that, that's happened or things that people have said or things that you've seen that, con mm. that confirm that or remind you of that? I think it's, you know, if I look back when I started working here last year, um, I was so focused on making sure that I get my master's degree. You know, I almost felt inferior or inadequate because I, you know, didn't have a master's degree or I wasn't as qualified as I should be. Uh, and that made me feel less than. And I think that impacted my work. I think it came through in how I was interacting with students and my confidence uh, and my lecturing style. Um, and now that I know that I have the ability to do further study and I know that I'm improving, it's lifted that weight off my shoulders. I'm more confident. It's, uh, and it's, yeah, I think it's, it's coming across in my lectures. I'm getting good responses from my students. Um, and I'm feeling like I'm actually good at what I do now. Mm. So can you just ex expand a little bit on like, how you feel that's... Uh, I, think it's a, I think it's a personal insecurity, really. Um, you know, when you work with, like all the people that you know, work here are generally, they either have a master's degree or a PhD. Uh, and coming in last year as the youngest member of the staff, uh, full-time staff, and also one of the least qualified in an aspect, um, yeah, it, it, it worked on my own feelings about, you know, what I do. Like, am I actually good enough? Am I good at, should I be here? Did, did my boss make a mistake in giving me the position? Um, and then experiencing the difficulties in terms of postgraduate education. You know, psychology is tough. Getting into a master's degree is hard. Uh, it was almost like, do I have it, what it takes? Can I do it? Can I get in? Um, and I think once I proved to myself that I can, 
Like I knew, I knew it. I knew that I had the ability and that I was good enough. But you know, when it actually happens, it gives you that slight edge. Mm -hmm. And I think that that's what's really given me the, 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 the I guess, kick in the butt for this year uh, that I needed. Okay. So what it sounds like is that as you as you saw yourself succeeding in, in other areas, mm. that seem, it seems like that's impacted on everything else and made everything else feel better and maybe go better. Yeah, I think so. I mean, I guess if you look at everything holistically, uh, a lot of what we do has an impact on, on everything. Um, you know, even from waking up in the morning, you know, waking up with a purpose and feeling like the day that you, you're working at is worth something. Um, yeah, and I think last year, maybe I did find myself in a rut where I was like, you know, am I, am I actually growing? Am I doing what I should be doing? Um, and I don't have that anymore. You know, it's kind of dissipated. Uh, and I feel confident. I feel, you yeah, know, I feel like I'm on the right track. Um, and I'm aware that there are challenges and things that I need to, to navigate and, and, and work at, but I don't feel overwhelmed. Mm -hmm. Cool. So then how would you like us in, in this relationship to, to work towards mm. addressing some of those challenges? Mm. 